Sometimes it's not 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 Sometimes Yeah, it's true. It was Leos was in Pune at that time, and uh, this is only for the payload the, design. The payload design. Fact, initial, uh, initial design. In very initial. What was you your? You are the first person to join yes. after the, in the project. What was your involvement uh, basically? Two thousand two, you joined. Yeah, in two thousand two. So I was interested with uh, this uh, structural design of this thing uh, with payload. So how the metering structure should be there. and what is its uh, uh, thermal requirement and what is its structural dynamics requirement what is your uh, when did you join in uvit and what is your involvement yeah, i joined the uvit in 2004 2004 i was there in khavalur i was working on a project called dbt extra spectrogram i was building a spectrogram so at that time i got a call from professor kameshwar from iia he said tomorrow you should be back in iia bangalore we are going to have a meeting with isro that was a proposal actually then immediately i just returned back to you know bangalore and the next day i went to you know isro where professor Kam, uh, professor uh, ramnath kausik the former director he was you know presenting to the isro community there actually tubes actually because of this low cte only we have selected this uh, inwar so it is about a uh, theoretical value is about 1.6 uh, parts per million so somebody can put a designer and all uh, all design what is the main thing you felt during uh, your realization optics of as far as optics is concerned there is no complexity but mechanical you added complexity by putting twin telescope aligning them together and then looking at The sky with an accuracy uh, less than an arc minute uh, it was a challenge. Movie what coating, about your coating? Maybe one of the. Ah, uh, okay. What was the reason? The reason was why can't you split in all these senses? You had to have a common coating on the mirror, which should you know reflect UV, far UV, near UV, and visible. That's a difficult thing. That's the reason. Wisely, he said, split the far UV separately and the near UV separately. Then it worked out. So we got a best efficiency in far UV as well as near UV. The challenge is actually getting the 1.8 arc second was a real challenge over a wider field of. That's for you. As far as optics is concerned, that is a challenge. One of the major challenge for this program is this contamination control of the UV mirrors. Actually, UV mirrors are the critical components where it absorbs that or it reflects the low UV that is at 100 to 120 to 180 nanometer for UV rays. where any molecular contamination sits on the primary mirror it will absorb the uv photons and it will reduce the system efficiency so to maintain that actually we have followed many of the variety of steps to take care to uh, till the completion of the uv फाइटेंस and this uh, uh, anxiety yes. both were fighting Each so conf- confidence was saying all is well and this uh, uh, anxiety was t- uh, telling it is some 12 years work so anything any small anomaly it will blow up so, so that my was the uh, feeling was that since uh, i related to the camera system the temperature of camera should not raise so that camera should not become inoperational so now temperature the moment it reaches above 100 km temperature start going down 
So that was the preferred temperature for the detector. So then I thought, okay, anyway, I think we'll have to do the detector. One more addition is actually for IAA, this is the first launch, first space uh, launch actually. For IAA engineers, is the first experience what we are experiencing there. There actually it is a kind of a uh, joyous moment and the pride moment when we are uh, seeing all that and within 20 minutes that it has reached that uh, intended orbit and uh, the launch is uh, declared as successful. It is a uh, joyous moment actually, we were cherishing that moment. Immediately after it is declared as launch actually, the after official announcement we were running around uh, greeting each other and we were sharing the sweets actually, we went with that sweet actually from Bangalore itself. So all that we were distributing to the people. So it is like a mad situation, we were running all around and we are greeting people like this is the kind of a chaos uh, it was uh, happening there. Yeah, this all happened during the launch time actually. So the launch went very well. But the happiness started the moment the door opened, they saw the first light. And it was not only the first light, the point is that the first shot itself we got a image quality. People were looking at the image and image yes, quality yes, actually. Yes. That was a reach. We got a reach because the astronomical community is widely, you know, spread right across the globe. And it is a people came and asked actually. Data is shared everywhere. Data is Wonderful. Shared. See, people started comparing EVIT and Galax images. Come on, yeah. five times better than you know Galax. The point is that Galax size is bigger than the you know the UVIT. Galax size is 500 millimeter. How about 380 millimeter? They are able to get 1.82 arc second. They got 5.6 arc second. There's no comparison. That was a real enjoyable uh, you know, moment when you saw the first. What message would like to give, sir? So that, uh, yeah. The informed message to the engineering community and the engineering students would be like this: Any scientist or any engineer who is working in, the field, in their own field will have to work in an enclosed uh, laboratory. Or a person working in the field of astronomical instrumentation, the laboratory is the universe itself, sky is the limit. That's a big message. Uh, but my, my message is like this, when you are working on a such kind of project, engineers should not be separated out from the scientists, because scientists are the one going to give you, because they know that this is what I need. They know that, you know, I want 1.2 arc second, I want 30 arc minute field of view, I need this. They know, because everybody is working for that output actually. Yes. That means. Science team should not be separated out from this engineering team. Always they should be there. It should not go parallelly. They should they should mingle. They should cross. They should talk to each other. That should happen very frequently when you are developing that. There is a big learning for multidisciplinary. Yes, yes. No optics. Yeah. I learned optics. I learned mechanical. Yes, I learned uh, are very more important. thing of integration yeah, yeah. and mechanical. Lot One of more thing is yes. there are many technological options off yes, yes, from this yes. project. Uh, this is being used in further projects like. Uh, Aditya and uh, this is also this kind of things. Uh, so for the next engineering committee, what I would like to tell is actually now the avenues are uh, there everywhere and ISRO also is opened up and they are giving a lot of opportunity for this kind of uh, space programs uh, for mini satellite, micro satellite and uh, other things. Uh. So every material is available now, there are people to support, uh, actually this community can come forward and make best utilize these uh, services and test facilities actually you can try to launch your own satellite uh, for you. The space. Oh,